in-depth look at Hospitable, formerly Smart B&B. This is your home screen for Hospitable. This is where you'll see any upcoming inquiries, requests to book, scheduled messages, or unassigned tasks. Also, check-ins, check-out, and tasks. So you could click through and open these up. These also open up your messages. So going into your inbox on the left here, this is where you'll see all messages. You could filter by booked on, checked in, checked out, currently staying, host, language, listing, location, and so on. Um, there's a lot of ways you can figure your uh, inbox messages. Your unread messages has the same setup with filters as well. You could also go in and manually add bookings if you'd like from these locations. You could look at what's awaiting a reply, resolved, and start. So these would be maybe important messages that you want to review again later. This is how you set up properties. So you have your all properties section here. New properties. So this is where um, you could add single units, muted properties, room types. Uh, so you could do all, entire home, shared room, private room. And what's nice about this is you could also add specific tags too. So going back to all properties, you could filter again by a lot of these nice features. You know, bedroom, city, has check-ins, has checkouts, no reservation, has reservation, host, um, name, platform, things like that. So if you go into a property, you could see how many listings it has, if it's syncing, what platforms is listed on. Uh, this property is, we're still building, so it's not live yet. That's why it's grayed out like this. Uh, calendar, so you could see your full calendar for each property. Um, you could also see a task calendar as well by clicking up here on the right. Go back to your occupancy calendar. You can see when you have dates booked. You can look here at your guest experience. So at the top, you have uh, active messages. Um, so these are rules you've created to auto send messages, uh, active review rules, and active question rules. These are pending messages and pending reviews. So you can get to them either way on the left side here or by clicking into active message rules. So here you could filter by activated event trigger has picture host platform properties and timing so um, as you can see here the green ones are turned on so status is on this is rule name sending time hosts properties and platforms so uh, a lot of these messages are by all properties um, and i have a few set up here that are by specific properties so if we jump into the first one, new booking inquiry. So these are autofills based on the guest information. So hello, this would autofill the guest first name. Um, you could find these short codes um, by going over here and seeing a list of short codes, um, which a uh, hospital provides. And so there's a lot of options depending what you're looking for. Um, you could also create your own short codes uh, by going down here and managing your custom codes. Um, so you can see here that um, one of the main messages we use for a new booking inquiry is, you know, this prepackaged message. Um, it goes through all your platforms. It would send out immediately uh, the hosts and the properties. So going back, um, we have different messages set up depending on what's happening. So new booking inquiry, new pre-approval, new request to book, uh, an issue with their payment. Uh, this is specific for Bellflower House. So this is a new re reservation confirmation. So guest first name, thanks for the reservation. Decide to host you at uh, listing name, so Bellflower House when it begins, how many nights, and how many guests. Uh, so this is a uh, midterm rental, so this requires a 30-day um, 
or longer uh, rental period, which then requires a lease sign off. Uh, so there's a way to do that, which we'll talk through in a different video um, and to automate some of that process. Um, none of these platforms are set up yet for midterm rentals. So uh, we found a way to uh, somewhat automate that process through using a few different systems. Going in, um, the rest are kind of basically the same kind of setup. So expired pre-approval, uh, check-in instructions, first morning, checkout instructions, and review request. request. Um, so on different video, we'll go through like what we say in each message and how we kind of have it set up and the timing behind the messages. So review rules are the same thing. So you could have it set up for all platforms or by uh, specific properties. Um, so this one's set up specifically for Bellflower House. And it basically, again, hi, uh, guest first name. Thanks very uh, much for staying with us. Uh, pleasure to host you. So again, we'll go through these in more detail in a different video. Uh, these are questions. So you could create um, auto responses for certain questions about air conditioning, about airport, beach, bicycles, early check-in, late check-in, late check-out, um, and so on. You could create your own custom ones if you'd like, um, but this is kind of a standard that uh, is prepackaged. Um, custom codes, this is where you create your own custom fields uh, that you want pre-populated. These are can responses and then your log. Uh, so this is your operation. So this is where you'd put in your team, like your cleaning crew, maintenance team, things like that. Uh, this is where you'd see an assigned tasks, your task calendar also links to here. Uh, how many teammates, your notification rules. Uh, so cleaning tasks, this is set up specifically for Bellflower House. Uh, this would be manually assigned. We could also have it auto assigned. So uh, set up an hour after the guest checkout. Um, and then we could have it automatically assigned to a specific teammate. Uh, this is where you'd add teammates. You could filter it by properties and services. Uh, you could add new teammates here and give them specific sets of uh, details depending on what you need. Notifications, this is how you can set up cleaning notifications, um, instant reminders, general reminders, task notifications. Uh, your general task calendar again is here by property. And then going into your metrics, this is where you'd see uh, a CSV file export if you want to use that. You could also look at reservation financials, reviews, uh, tasks, and taxes. This would be your connected account. So when you connect to Airbnb, VRBO, booking.com, things like that. And then this would be direct booking. So you could set up a new direct booking site um, through here and that would allow you to take reservations off platform. So that's an overview of how kind of hospitable works. Um, please uh, take a look at our, our channel, like, subscribe, follow along as we'll go through uh, other videos and details on how we set this up in detail.